Hello, how are you doing? This is Tesh Wajona and thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you for supporting my content on Tesh Wajona Vlogs UK. Thank you for following on TikTok. Guys, this content is courtesy of someone I met yesterday at MCJC event and they requested me. I met people and they requested me to create content, uh, a few contents and they gave me what, uh, what, what they would like to see. Or what they would like me to help people support people out there yeah and guys this is very important please if you want me to find out something please let me know because sometimes as a content creator you run out of ideas or what actually people want to hear or learn about in the ground so this guy told me if i can make a content or create a content or find out and create a content about the unmarried partner visa which is also known as uk de facto visa this visa, uh, from my research, it can be applied in the UK or when you are outside the UK. And I would say if it's inside the UK, I'm assuming probably you came with probably a different visa or a short visa. Probably you came in as a visitor and now you want to apply for this visa so you can still apply it while you're in the UK. However, today I'm going to talk about it about if you are outside the UK. So guys, this visa requires you to have been together with your partner for two years or cohabited for two years. Yeah. And remember, if it was a partner, uh, if it was a spouse visa or something, one of the evidence is marriage certificate. But in this case, we are looking for the unmarried partner visa. And this visa is also, um, uh, let me, let me not mention that. However, it can it can be very helpful to a category of different relationship of or yeah relationship we currently have in the society. However, let's talk about um you need without reasonable doubt to to meet the criteria and show evidence of your union of your relationship, and that is why. Children birth certificate, if you have any children, because birth certificates have both your names, then that can be evidence that you, you are together or you've been together or you have something that to look after together. Another thing is shared responsibilities. You can show your shared responsibilities, something to show your shared responsibility. You can also show a tenancy agreement. Yeah. If your partner is in Kenya, the house that you live in, uh, the tenancy agreement and so on. Another thing that can come handy is if you have a joint account that can come handy because it's all about showing that you guys have something that you, you are together. Other small things can be photos about activities that you've been doing together and you've, you've continued doing together in your relationship. The visa can take up to 12 weeks for the decision to be made. And please, this is a summary. Because sometimes you find, I give you some information and then you find people picking what I did not say. Picking what I missed out. And thank God, this at least TikTok now has 10 minutes. But when it was 3 minutes, you find you cannot put everything in that. And even in the 10 minutes, I will still miss out something. So it is very important that you go to the government website. And you look for the unmarried partner visa and actually go step by step reading what is required of you. The most important thing is I have come and I've told you this, this type of visa and it's, if it is of interest to you. Then I'm sure you will do as I requested. Go and find out more information. So the visa charge is £1,538 and you are required a health surcharge of 624 per year. So it depends how many years they give you. So then that will be the times two, yeah? Times two or times three of that. Year. But per year is 624 per year. Um, if you want the visa to, to, uh, to the decision to, to be, ra not to be rushed, but to come, uh, to be made quickly, then you can pay the priority fee of 573 pounds. So this visa this visa, if it's for you, type of visa is for you, please go ahead and find out more information. Those are the basic information that you need to know 
and what and there is what i've mentioned is what is important however you're reading further then you're in a good position for you to have an easy time when you're applying that kind of a visa until next time guys ciao